Every step you take matters, because at any moment, anything can happen. And that slip or fall could lead to serious problems. Three times as many deaths and serious injuries are happening from stair falls as are happening from motor vehicle accidents. Researchers want to prevent that, so they're using this state-of-the-art, seemingly out-of-this-world facility. All right, so we're now in the stair incline. This is IDAPT, Intelligent Design for Adaptation, Participation and Technology at the Toronto Rehabilitation Institute. <laughs> in what's called Stair Lab, they're trying to make people fall. And we can do so safely and in a controlled environment. And that's really exciting for us is to look at these sort of balanced recovery mechanisms that are happening and then using that knowledge, like I said, to, to implement into falls prevention programs. Okay, how does that feel? That feels good. Okay. Among the seven simulators at IDAPT is Street Lab. Here a person walks on a treadmill but is surrounded by the sights and sounds of downtown Toronto. A way to research challenges faced by those with brain injuries, vision or sensory loss. We can see the streetcar, we can hear the streetcar, and because this whole system can go on the motion simulator, we can actually feel the vibrations that's created by the streetcar as it goes past you. In this laboratory, the temperature drops. And researchers can run experiments and control winter-like conditions no matter what time of year it is. They're even looking at developing better non-slip footwear, just one of the benefits to iDAPT. How do you avoid slipping over in the winter and breaking your hip? How do you avoid falling downstairs? How do you cope going out into traffic if you've had a stroke or a head injury and everything's confusing? A way to find future solutions to today's problems faster than ever before. Jennifer Palasok, Global News.